capture off at Fir Hill, it was time for the Thistle players to thank the fans who'd supported them through thick and thin. Another season in the top flight is no more than they deserve. Celtic were the last visitors of the season at Fir Hill, and they dominated the match. Steve Fulton's free kick, one of a string of early efforts Craig Nelson had to deal with. But after 20 minutes of one-way traffic, Celtic almost gifted Thistle the lead. Rudy Vata caught out by Jerry Britton, who slipped the ball past Gordon Marshall, only to be foiled by Barry Smith on the line. Celtic got the lead their play deserved, though, on the half-hour mark. Slater sent flying by McKilligan, and a penalty kick awarded. Frank McAvenny, a Thistle player himself for all of 24 hours this season, made no mistake from the spot, and he took the salute of the fans. Celtic pressed for a second before half-time, but Nelson defied them, turning Tom Boyd's shot past for a corner kick. The second half followed a similar pattern, John Collins creating an opening for Boyd, but Nelson was there again, and Joe Miller couldn't make the loose ball count. Celtic thought they had a second penalty a couple of minutes later. There was no doubt in John Collins' mind at any rate, but there's no point in arguing with the referee when he's made up his mind. All it gets you is a booking. Try as they might, the second goal just wouldn't come for Celtic. Steve Fulton was next to have a goal, but Nelson got across brilliantly to make the save. And mainly thanks to him, it finished 1-0. But even in defeat, you can't keep the Thistle fans down. The end of the season, the cue for a street party. And good luck to them.